Hello friends, thank you for checking out Trailer Trash Adventures number three. Now this isn't our third camp out, but we did go to a couple of others before this and for some reason I did not record much if any video. In fact, I really didn't record much video on this one too. I did get some dash cam footage on the way up and on the way back. I did, however, get some drone footage from, from our new DJI Mini 2, and so you will see that integrated with the other footage you see here. Um, other than that, most of the footage is actually just uh, photos from my cell phone. So join us on our trip to California Hot Springs. So this episode's adventure takes us to the foothills of the Sierras in California, more specifically to the California Hot Springs Resort and RV Park. Yes, it's not an RV resort, but it's considered a resort <coughs> with an attached RV park. You can see our spot there. We're pretty happy with that. This is also our very first trip with our new to us tow vehicle and as you can see we do have uh, uh, Starlink in place this is our very first time using Starlink worked out very well uh, this park is pet friendly so you can see we've got Johnny and Josie the two critters here with us on this trip full hookups that includes water sewer and electricity some spots had picnic tables most did not here is my very first attempt at some drone footage. I wanted to do this so uh, to give you an example of how close the park is. Basically, the RV park is right across from the California Hot Springs Resort. Now, the resort is actually comprised of sort of a, a clubhouse, uh, changing rooms, a quite large swimming pool, a couple of hot tubs. There is a uh, gift shop, a snack bar, and a small store, which uh, has everything from uh, snacks, uh, beer and wine, and also any camping emergency supplies that you may have left behind. Uh, our visit was uh, midweek in July of 2022. And you can see as a, as a midweek, midweek trip, there was no one else here. We were the only ones. Um, the pool, the resort is open for those who aren't staying in the park. It's uh, also accessible by the community and anyone who likes to travel to this location. Now, uh, we stayed for two nights, three days. Uh, the second night, we did have some friends come in and joined us and camped next to us for dinner on our second night. So we did have some company. We weren't there completely by ourselves. This is the bathhouse. It is a little bit dated, as you can see, um, but very clean. Um, they did a very good job taking care of this, even though it's uh, it may have seen better days. And there is the shower. It does have showers, just a real basic shower setup. Nothing fancy, nothing to write home about. Here's looking down from some of the upper tier camp spots. You can see it's pretty barren, but still full hookups nonetheless. You can see uh, we did have a picnic table at uh, our spot. I think our spot was definitely the best of the bunch. Here we are uh, cooking dinner for our friends. So we're actually there on a Wednesday and Thursday. It took off Friday. 
because there was nobody else at the campground, uh, the host just basically said, you can just leave whenever you want, no specific checkout time. So by the time we were leaving, there were a couple of other campers that had pulled in. I love that GMC motorhome. That is such a classic. I'm not a big class A guy, but uh, uh, if I got to jump on the class A bandwagon, that would be, that would be my jam. I'm definitely into the uh, older vintage RVs. So the entry fees were, I think, once say $65, which is a little bit steep for such a rustic area, although it's, it is full hookups. And that did include entry to the Hot Springs Resort down below. Uh, I believe if you're not staying at the campground, the entry to the Hot Springs alone is like $20. Kind of a, kind of expensive, if you ask me, but uh, we've been going here for years. This is the first time we ever actually went to the RV park. It's, this is usually just a day trip for us. It's probably about an hour drive from where we live at the most. And uh, we had seen that they had an RV park, so we thought we'd give it a shot. And to be honest, I would go back the only real negatives again aside from being very rustic um, it is full hookups you know if you're gonna spend half the day lounging by the pool that is pretty nice and it is it is hot spring so it's water is fantastic it's not just a regular swimming pool uh, there were a significant uh, amount of uh, yellow jackets in the area and you could see that they had uh, tried some abatement procedures but uh, and it was, uh, you know, yellow jackets like meat. And so uh, it was difficult to cook outside, but uh, we got through it. As always, we appreciate you checking out our videos. Please comment down below. Please like, subscribe, and thank you for checking out another episode of Trailer Trash Adventures.